Hello, fluffy people of the world. My name is Liquid Blitz, and welcome back to A Man Camouflaged with a Door, by which I mean Dark Souls 2, for what is certainly going to be the final episode of the playthrough. Hang on, I'm reaching for something. A drink. Okay, so I'm going to consult Notepad Souls for this final episode, because there's a bit of a to-do list. And that includes drink lemonade. Okay, so, uh, let's minimize and check notepad souls. Okay, here we go. Stuff done or learned since last episode. Snow horses are mean. I've upgraded a new staff because it turns out it had, like, better damage than my current plus 10 staff. Unupgraded, so I've upgraded the hell out of a new staff. And I've cleaned my inventory. I've, like, put the vast majority of my weapons away, etc. The to-do list for this Christmassy episode, if you're watching this as I upload them. First of all, uh, there's a door behind the Lost Sinner that I completely missed as I was recording the episode, so I'm, that's literally what I'm camouflaged with right now. I know which swords I got from the tiger bosses, so I'll read those descriptions. Apparently you can burn the windmill, and I've just not done that, so I'll be going back to Harvest Valley to try and burn that. Try returning to two locked doors in Shrine of Amana, that speaks for itself. Put King Vendrick out of his misery. Hollow Vendrick wandering the halls. That'll be like the m first main thing that we do. And then talk to, try talking to him after the fact. And then the last thing, visit the throne underground. Remaining places to go, the two doors and the throne. No petrified things. Uh, yeah, lock doors. Two doors in the Shrine of Amana. So that's that. Okay, so there we go. It turns out I love the look of Raim's armor, by the way. It, and it acts as a natural camouflage. You can't even see my dude. Okay, so, uh, just a quick rundown. I've gone professional for this final episode. I've equipped Divine Blessings, which are heals that do... Uh, what do they do? Fully restores HP and cures all status effects. Uh, stamina, uh, stamina, strength, uh, fire. Um, I've just put useful stuff on. I will be taking this armor off in a minute. Um, but yeah, swords. Um, Ivory Straight Sword is one of the ones from the Tiger Bosses, so let's just give that a quick read. Sword of Fabian, or Fabian, Knight of Elium Lois. This blade, crafted with ivory ore, native to the land, harnesses souls to, s harnesses souls to slash at foes. I wonder if there's something to that harness souls bit. Sir Fabian led the loyal knights of Elium Lois straight into the depths of chaos to exterminate the terrible things that dwelled there, but not one of the selfless knights returned. I wonder if all the tigers were knights at some point, but just turned into big cats for some reason. Um, Lois Greatsword? Greatsword of the Knights of Lois. The knights of Lois who were commanded to strike down each malformed terror that arose from chaos, and they would not hesitate even if it were their own king. Now, I noticed this sword as I was putting all my shit away. Majestic Greatsword. Let's just read it first. An ancient greatsword of unknown origin. This sword has, was passed down through generations until it reached Gordon, wandering knight of Ferossa, and was lost upon his death. Uncannily, every last one of the prominent swordsmen who inherited this weapon was left-handed. Now that immediately... I read this just uh, five minutes ago. That immediately made me think of Artorius from the DLC of the first game, because he fights with his sword in his left hand, famously. And then I looked at the fucking thing. Um, let's just put it on. And I was like, you know what? Hang on. I was thinking to myself, you know what? That actually looks a lot like Artorius's fucking sword, doesn't it? I, I haven't looked at any reference to the first game, but I'm pretty sure that looks exact exactly like Artorius's sword, with a, a slightly curved hilt. Kind of reminds me of Frostmourne from World of Warcraft. Is that Artorius's sword? The, the whole left hand thing made me think of it, and then the look of it also reminds me of his sword. Anyway, uh, oh, yeah. um, let's put on what I was destined to wear, and let's go about my business. Plus ten, plus ten. Oh yeah. 
I've kept the highest damage bow that I've got for bow. That's the staff that's better than my current one. I didn't finish upgrading. I only got it to plus six. And then I got interrupted. Um, anything else? Weapons, weapons, da, 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 don't think so. Right. Otherwise, we're good to go, I think. So what was next on that list? Uh, <laughs> shit. Uh, already forgotten. Oh, no. Door. Here we go. Right here. I'm guessing there's not going to be much in here, but I can't believe I just missed the door when I was recording this last time. Oh, there's a fire. Or? Illusory wall, maybe? No. Where the hell am I? What is this? Oh, return to the f- Oh. Oh. Oh my god, am I- D Okay. Let me just quickly com consult Notepad Souls because I've got the memory of a fuckwit and a goldfish. Return to the Lost Sinner door, read sword descriptions, burn a windmill, and then the two locked doors of Shrine of Amana. Okay, so let's see about burning that windmill. So for burning this windmill, I don't I haven't got the first clue at all. Um which place it actually will be at. It's clearly higher up in the windmill. Or Earthen Peak, I believe it's called. Um Let's go to the central Earthen Peak one. I'll clearly need a torch in my hand to, to burn said windmill. It seems like such a major thing to not have to do for the, like, progression, you know what I mean? Uh, now, I do have, like, 50 million hours of torch time, so uh, it doesn't worry me too much about just having a... Oh, God, not these guys. I thought I was done with these guys forever. Keep having them. Just have them for days. Okay. It's, it's good having a magic sword that insta-kills them. Right, okay. So, let's just light the torch. And I've got, like, literally four hours or something of torch time. Uh, in fact, how much time do I have? Literally, <laughs> nearly five hours of torch time. So I can just run around freely. Uh, I will put the Fume Knight sword on one-handed. There we go. Yeah, let's just run around and see if there's anything made of a wicker or, like, wood <laughs> or something. Can I physically go up to this windmill? Um, I guess we'll wander around until I find something. By the way, as I'm running around looking for where to light the windmill, um, I will theorize. I've been thinking about who the last boss of this game will be, and I really don't have a clue. In the first game, there was lots of references to the King, to the Fire King, uh, Lord Gwyn. Even references to his name. Um, so it was kind of obvious Gwyn was going to be the final dude. But in this game, I can only think of three motherfuckers who it might be. Uh, and the least likely is King Vendrick himself. Because he's friendly in the memory and he's just wandering around kind of hollow. So I don't think it will be him. And then the only two big, big names remaining are Nishandra, the queen that we haven't seen for a thousand years, who was sitting at the top of Drang Lake, but then disappeared suddenly. Um, and then also the big fire god guy who's kind of been talking to us through the fires th this whole time. Um, it, it, it's got to be one of those two. But I don't really know. Um... I, I can't think of anyone else who it would be, you know? Those are the only two anomalies remaining. I mean, I couldn't be closer to a fucking windmill. Uh, oh god, I'm ugly. Um, Well, is there any sticky out -y wooden things or sort of... Uh, fuel? Maybe there's something to do with oil or fuel to light. Hmm. There's wood around here, I'm seeing wood. Relight my fire. Oh, 
You know what? I was just... Oh my god. Oh my god. I was fully intending on jump cutting to wherever the fuck I find the place to burn your, se your windmill. But I just thought, you know what? I've got a lot more practice with, uh... What? Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm poisoned again. Yeah, I've got a lot more practice with illusory walls, and that looked like an illusory wall to me. Behind your pots. Just anything that looks like it could be an actual door frame is an illusory wall in this game. Hello there. My clothes are better than yours. Yeah. Okay, well, what's this? Spell quartz ring, thank you. I think I've got it. Spell quartering times three. Well, here's your windmill. Let's keep wandering around. Let's just clear, you know what, let's just clear the whole fucking area again. There you go. Hello, you little crawling bastards. Oh, bad. That is all sorts of bad. Oh, for God's sake. You know, looking back on it, I still can't believe I, uh... I did this shit. Like, I, I did the boss with the poison. Um, because I know full well you can drain the arena. I wonder if that's what we're gonna do here. And that's part of burning the windmill, maybe. Well, just while we're here, real quick, let's just put your poison ring on, because I am getting poisoned. I wonder if we run water through this place and clean, literally clean the, the poisony shit out and away. Let's get up to there, let's dodge all these fuckers and clean in the water. I think that's what this does. <laughs> Why is my poison going up in this? Oh, is this water poisoned water? I thought it was, uh... <gasps> Oh, hang on. I bet that... Uh, if we can clean this place, I bet that turns into healing water, not poison. <gasps> oh! Oh, right, okay! Yeah, I'm not surprised I never tried to walk up here, what with my track record of just walking myself off to my own death. Okay then. I mean, it was literally as simple as walk up to the fucking actual point of the windmill. Alright. Let's do it. A bit obscure, but hey. Who cares? Burn! Burn, baby, burn! Burn, baby, burn! Ooh, so what's this gonna do? Uh, right, it's gonna stop turning and a churning. Is it all grinding to a halt? Right. Okay, now what's that gone and done? Let's. Oh. The whole ground of this place was just simply poison at one point. Still is. Let's. I haven't rested at a fire. I've been wandering around for 15 minutes. Um. And I've cleared pretty much everything. So, I've got free reign to wander around. Let's go back up to Queen Area. Let's see if anything's happened. For all I know... Uh, oh, fuck. For all I know, the windmill was somehow creating the poison, maybe? So it's all gone now? <laughs> or maybe that's... I don't even know. Let's just go up. Oh, it has! Right, so I'm guessing the turning windmill was was keeping a constant flow of poison. I see. And I guess it was coming out of there or whatever. Must, yeah, must have been a constant flow. Well, that would have made that boss fight 67,000 times easier. Okay. And I'm guessing there's water up here. Let's just go and... Enjoy the healing pools. For no reason. Thank you. Back to full health. Okay. Right, go away, you little bastards. 
Okay. Well, that was cool. I'm, I'm guessing that's it. Uh, I knew you could burn the windmill, but that was it. I didn't know that the burning of the windmill and the poison were connected, though, so that was interesting. Um, I don't think there will be anything else to, to do, y you know? Like, I, oh, there is still some poison. Is it? Yeah, well, there's still some poison. Okay. Interesting. I can't think of any, like, places where there was poison or whatever that will now have revealed something, so I think we're good just uh, moving on to the doors of Amana. The doors in the shrine of Amana. There's two. And if I remember right, one is right at the end next to a bonfire, so we'll go to that one first. Because I know for a fact, one was over that bridge slightly submerged in the water where that Velstat wannabe was. Um, but that is like... That's going to be kind of more painful, that one. I'm pretty sure the, the second of the doors was right before the Demon of Song boss, like at the end of this place. I remember there being a fire like right there. Let's have a look real quick. Oh! Jesus Christ. I've just heard some singing and I'm pretty sure... Didn't we do all the Milfinito stuff? I've no idea, but I'd have figured that once we've spoken to every Milfinito or illusion of Milfinito, the singing would have stopped. But there's still singing going on. Right, I need you all to fuck off. Sincerely. Right, so... I thought it was here. Um, oh, right. Is it up here? I'm sure there's a locked door. It's weird that people have been reminding me multiple times, like every episode, to come back here. Um, it's, I, I don't know what the triggers of these doors are, or if I've got a key now. Okay, I've, I'm just opening it. Oh, oh. What are these? What are these? Are they just hollows, yeah? Alright, they're, they're just basic hollows, nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. I wonder if I've got a key then. Or if, like, killing a certain boss or whatever. Unlock the door. Wasn't there a specific message that popped up on this and it was like, f some factor hasn't been met or something? Oh, there's... Oh, I'm going towards the singing. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not scared of you. I ain't scared of nobody. I'm level 200. Okay, that can do some corrosive shit. You... Okay, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, they've got some serious health. Although, let's be honest, <laughs> I might, I think I've out-leveled the end of the game <laughs> on the first game cycle. Ooh. Milfinito? For a purely optional place, this is beautiful. Milfinito! Is this like the OG actual one or is this another illusion? Hello! What's that statue? Ugh. What's the what's the iconography here? We've got a dude. Ah, fuck, Jesus Christ. Ah, just two dead guys. Okay. Well, hello. It's good to see you. It's been a while. We had the real Milfanita, which was a human like this. Then we had an illusion, but the illusion was like ragged and dirty. Who are you? And what do you want from us? I don't know. <laughs> Loot, maybe? Milfanito. That is what we are called. My name. Do you mean our name? We know nothing of the outside world. I'm trying to get a close-up. Forgive me. How sweet and, and, like, bright. We sing eternally for those who bear death and dark within themselves. Who bear death and dark. We have been here forever. 
We know nothing of the outside world, and we do not need to. Who bear death and dark. I wonder if that's a hint to what the triggering factor was to open the door. Something to do with dark or death or something. The little ones were born from the great dead one. And the great dead one taught us song. Great We've dead sung one. Ever since. To comfort those bound by death and dark. This huh. is what we were taught. Isn't the Great Dead one an, allu an illusion, or uh, uh, a reference to Grave Lord Nito? We hear a song in the distance. Wasn't he known as the Great Dead one in the, uh, the first game? A Milfinito, who was taken from us. In Drang Lake Tower, yes, I did. We Milfinito, thank you. Thank you. What is it? E oh, okay. Okay, okay. I appreciate it. Yeah, we, we rescued one that was locked up in the Tower of the Embedded, didn't we? You silenced that cursed singing. No, I like the singing. Please accept these what? as a thank you. Oh, have I just officially silenced it now? I like that, that that singing was the one good thing in the shrine of painful misery that is Amana. Do you see comfort too? You I mean, yeah. Me. Take this. Oh. Very least. <laughs> This is the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, I spent, uh, I gave all my pebbles and things to the birds before this episode. Can do. The little ones were born from the group and the great dead one taught, taught a song. Okay. Well, there you go. Right, I don't know who the little ones are, but, uh, thank you. Oh, I can pray. Is that like a... Well, before I do that, where does this go? Uh, right, there is dudes down here. Where's this going? Let's pray. Is it gonna, like, absolve my sins or, like, give me a buff? Or turn me human? Alas, nothing happened. Huh. I think I might be right. I think that might cure you if you have an ailment or... Maybe I need to be human for something to happen? So was some, yeah. I'm missing something. But, uh, thank you for the rewards. I do appreciate it. Oh, there's the singing. Yeah. So it's just a figure of speech. What is that what thing there? Alright, let's back up, back up. Oh, I love the fact that they do no, no damage. Ow, fuck off. Jesus Christ, what is this? Um, because, right, if heal to fall, I don't want to die. And then I'm going to start killing motherfuckers. Fucking hell. This is ridiculous. I literally can't see. Just I, I've got to just be rolling now. Right, back the fuck off. Like, 67 miles of backing the fuck off. What the fuck? What the fuck with these nukes? They're raining fucking shit down on me. What is this? Are these, like, fire snipers? Oh, God, no. Don't hit me off the edge. Don't... Fucking hell! Oh, these fucking shits. These flaming... Oh, this guy's gonna die. Almost had him. I've got almost got him. Fuck's sake. Just have him. Take the fire. Bloody hell, I wasn't expecting like fiery pain. I just wanna to get to Vendrick, man. Ooh. Right, where's number two? These guys are fucking dangerous. Fuck off! Fuck! I can't, did you just you fire in my eyeballs? Oh, for fuck's sake! These these guys are legitimately tough. What the fuck? 
I don't even know what this yellow mist is, man. Fuck you. You're dangerous shit. Right, what is down here? I, I, I figured we were kind of done. But we're outside the tower now, aren't we? Uh, where are we? We are not outside the tower where I thought we were. Was this? Right, hang on, that's an edge. Fucking hell, calm down. Calm down. Um, that's an edge, that's death. Okay, there's gotta be something else down here. What's over here? Oh, loot. There you go, fire seeds. This is like land of the fire. Okay. Right, I think we're done here. Right, let's fast travel to the other fire. The question is, the, yeah, the other fire and try and get to the second door. Do I fight my way there or run my way there? It's going to be painful to run, but I think I might try. I wonder if both of these doors unlock with the same trigger, uh, whatever that triggering thing is. Um, I think it's this one. Oh, I remember how painful this shit was. Is there anything I want to equip or do just to... I'm not fat rolling. I don't need poison anymore. I might put on magic defense just for now because there's a lot of magic going to be sh thrown at me. Um, otherwise, I think we're golden like the goose. Right, I need to like start hitting a motherfucker. Right. Okay. So it's not a Velstat wannabe, it's um, a dragon. Is that a Dragon Rider wannabe, or is that actually a Dragon Rider? Right, let's kill this one and then don't aggro any other one for fuck's sake. Get up there. Right, there we go. Okay, all's good. Um. I'd probably do well with a strike weapon against this guy, but I don't care. You see, it looks like the Dragon Riders. Like, fat and armoured and big. Is it just a Dragon Rider, but it, the, officially not a boss? Right, I need to be careful. Let's get off this fucking bridge. I'm going to fall to my death. Over here. Well, oh, he's gonna fuck me up, but I fucked him up. You know what? I, I think I should put a club on. I got it on. I got it on. I managed to get it on. <laughs> I got it on. Yeah. You, sir, about to meet club... Well, that's the end of that sentence. You're about to meet Club. Oh, fucking hell. These are just as strong. Like, I've done no leveling up at all. Every, just, every mob is just as powerful as it always was. Right, hang on, back off. Back off. That's right, you big, you big rotund boy. Okay. It wasn't that bad. I only had to kill like a couple of mobs. Now, does it open? That's the question. If not, let's just get straight on to our, to our uh, Ventric business. You know what? The sword actually did the same amount of damage as the club. I think this game doesn't have as much weight behind, like, Slash versus Strike as the first game. But in the first game, if you use the wrong weapon type on a mob, like, uh, sort of like a sword against an armored enemy, it would do, like, fuck-all damage. But in this game, it seems to be a bit more forgiving. 
Locked. Right, okay. Either I need a key... ...or something hasn't been met. Okay. <laughs> Either I've missed something le earlier in the game, or... ...let's just do all the Ventrix stuff and, uh... ...and then try and rack our brains, I guess. See if we can think of anything we've missed. Um, okay. King Vendrick. Let's do it. I guess we'll try speaking to him one final time, and then we'll just try killing the hollow Vendrick wandering around. Now, where the fuck is he? He is somewhere over the rainbow. Um. Um. I, st I still think this is the, one of the coolest places in this game, by the way. Terrifying, creepy reaper statues with fire. Anyway, let's go. Let's just uh, do one of these. Let's hook a side run. And ignore the fuckers. And the bell. I kind of wish we got to speak to, uh, to Velstat. Oh god. In the memory? Like, like, human still got his mind and wits about him, Velstad, rather than the one you gotta fight. Who I presume is Hollow. The, the one that we killed. Right, here he is! Hello there! I mean, you... Yeah. I think we're doing a good thing, putting him out of his misery. But before we do, let's speak to the past version of him. So am I right in thinking King Vend Vendrick was, like, husband-slash-king to Queen Nishandra? Is, is that correct? And he came down here to, to sort of turn hollow and die. How are you doing, sir? Seeker of fire. I see you've subdued another foul creature. Yes, I have. The third and final one. One of the father of the abyss spawn. That confounded quintessence of humanity. Another Manus reference? Once had form, but then dissipated. Hmm. And yet, traces of its existence endured. Each fragment, thirsting for power, spread dark with no relent. My dear Chandra was one such fragment. Sh Neshandra? Chandra? A feeble, tiny thing that thirsted for power more than any other. Given my insatiable lust for a worthy vessel. That's a mean thing to say about your wife. Hang on, did he just say Chandra, that must be his wife, Nishandra, was like a child of dark, much like uh, Alsana from the third DLC that we just completed. The, the cathedral wisp woman. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he just said. Huh. And he just called... Chandra, a feeble, <laughs> a fucking thirst for power sort of person. Fire came to be. He now it's repeating. Life and death, light and dark. You know, he looks so like Aberforth Dumbledore, Albus's brother in like the final movie, who does the big Patronus outside Hogwarts. This is, this literally could be that guy. Dark was seen as a curse. Shadow is not cast, but born of fire. And the brighter the flame, the deeper the shadow. Inherit fire and harness the dark. More fire versus dark debate. Of a true leader. Hmm. The, 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 yeah, there's more and more reference to light versus dark. In the Dark Souls universe. Dark was shadow is not cut and the brighter inherit fire. Inherit fire the dark. and and harness the dark. Is the Am I gonna become the true leader? Am I gonna become the king of Drang Lake? Wielding both fire and dark. There he is, Velstad. Hello. Okay then. Right, it's now or never. 
Right, oh. Should we go human for this? Well, I have no, you know, well, let's, let's do it. <laughs> let's stand the best chance possible. In fact, will this just start the fight? Like, I can, I can prematurely uh, pop a bunch of shit and then just start wailing on him? I have no idea how hard this is going to be, but let's just pop a long-term heal. And then I'm going to pop a stamina thing and a strength thing and then just go full fucking ham. Uh, that's just life gem. And then stamina. Oh, I didn't pop it. Okay. Right, stamina. Did it pop it? Why is the, why is the stamina thing not popping? Have you noticed that? It's, it's not doing it. It's... Oh, now it did. Right, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Strength. Let's do this. Right. It's for your greater good, sir. Eh. Oh. Okay, let's just keep... Str <gasps> there we go. I just had to do... It. <gasps> Fucking hell, he's high damage. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Whew, just keep stabbing away. Fucking hell, he's got some health. He's also got swipes, have you noticed? Those are very wide swipes, which is bad. Oh god. Oh, he's, he's shit. He is hollow like. Can you imagine a King Vendrick in his prime? If he's this tough, just like a, as a mindless husk. Let's just get the. Let's just keep taking it nice and slow. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. That is a big soul, though, fucking hell. All oh, those swings are dangerous as fuck, man. They can hit, like, all around them. He's tall as fuck. Like all the other gods and giants, he's just tall as shit. I wonder if Nishandra, Nishandra will be the final boss then. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Oh, say it ain't so. No! Because we haven't heard from her since she left the throne of, on the top of Drang Lake. Like, she, she... I don't even think she said anything to us. And he basically just said his wife is has like a lust for power or something. Right, first time I've popped a divine blessing. Oh, fucking hell. Stab. Oh, this guy does have a lot of damage. Um, health. Fucking hell. Seriously, if this guy is this defensive and high health as a hollowed husk. It'd be a cool little easter egg if you could toss like 60 effigies at him and turn him actually human again. Just for those who want a real challenge. Oh, the swipe doesn't hit you when you're behind him. It just physically goes past you, if that makes sense. Stab, stab, stab. Oh. Single hits, that's the key. I 
I wonder what being undead like this has. Th this is going truly hollow where I believe you become like a mindless husk, if you see what I mean. Like, we go hollow when we die, but we're not fully, what, cursed or something? Or not fully consumed? But, like, to wield a sword like this, you've got to have some humanity left, you know what I mean? If you're just a zombie, you, you, you don't know how to swing a sword, you know? Calm down, sir. With your loincloth. Watch this have like a crazy phase two now, where you actually just turn human. I like to think Memory uh, Vendrick will thank us for, for ending his undead suffering in the future. Be at peace, King Vendrick. Rest now. 90,000 souls. It was a tragic tale. But it is a tale that has now ended. Uh, let's just go. He must have something to say to us. Vendrick, we, uh, we, we put you to rest. We've honored your memory. Dark was seen as a curse. Oh, is he not going to say anything? Shadow is not cast, but born of fire. And the brighter the flame, the deeper the shadow. Inherit He's just repeating, so I'll just... Uh, okay. Huh. I, I, I'm shocked he doesn't have anything to say to us. Like, since we killed him, I figured that would be like a major thing to do. I do, I mean, let's just assess the situation. I do have all three DLC helms, but that's no guarantee of anything. Uh, I've got your three crowns. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah. Such is the Right, I need to consult notepad. Well, let's get out of the memory. And then we'll head back to Medulla and just recoup and figure out what to do next. And while we're on it, we'll level up as well, because why not? Hmm. I actually forgot. Um in addition to leveling up once or twice, let's uh Get my sorcerer's staff to maximum. Ooh. Santa hat still on? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Ra, okay, this is real quick. I wonder if killing King Vendrick opens that door. Um, the one that was still locked. Because if that hasn't done it, and I don't really see why it would do it, to be fair, why would killing King Vendrick in a, uh, open a door? It did say it was locked, and that's the same message that shows up when you need a key item specifically. Otherwise, I don't know what will open that. I've clearly missed something. But I might go back one final time just to check. Now, what am I doing? Right, uh, magic. There we go. Oh, I don't have the chunks required. Uh, I'll need two, then three. I'll be around. I've got a million souls. Let's just get my staff to full. You've been... Well, um, uh, oh, I can only buy one more chunk. Ah, oh, shit! Somebody sells chunks unlimitedly, but I can't. I can't remember who. Uh, no it's fine. I don't need any more magic damage. Let's level up. I kind of like the idea of ending the game at no level two hundred. Until. A very nice round number, but why put a limit on my shit? I, I kind of want to be on 50 vigor. 50 vigor and 50 strength. I like the sound of that. There we go. Uh, Lost in a sort of whim of King Vendrick misery. Talk to memory Vendrick. Nothing. That's it. The only thing left on my to-do list is visit the underground throne and, I assume, end the game. The only thing, I mean, I know there are some things, by the way, that I am missing, like people keep telling me to go back to that guy with zero souls after you spend some more money with him, etc. So there's one or two things in the game I've missed, but I'm not overly precious about everything. Um, 
but in terms of stuff that's doable that I've missed, the only thing remaining is that locked door. I'm just going to take a quick look at all my keys. I mean, I, I know that I haven't got a key if you do need one. Well, I mean, I might go back one last time. Um, has anything changed? We killed King Vendrick. He hasn't said anything. Uh, we were undead. Now we're human. I mean, that's that's potentially a trigger. Let's go back because I don't I I don't like the idea that I'm missing something. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. If I haven't got some trigger for this door, then it is what it is. I'll just I'll just end the game anyway. I'm not going to start googling stuff and being too precious about it. But uh, it might be open now. Might as well check. Well, that's most stuff dead. I've got to kill uh, Dragon Rider wannabe again. Oh, hang on. Where is he? What? Hang on. C kill these. Let's not get distracted. I love the fact that my rolling attack is an insta-kill on these fuckers. Yeah. Right, there's no way I kill that Dragon Rider wannabe 12 times. I've killed him like three times, or maybe four or five. Why is he not here anymore? Strange. I wonder if I've got to do something, like... I don't know, do an emote, like a... Like a prey emote or something, I don't know. Oh! Okay, right. It must have been either killing King Vendrick or the fact that I am human. That's literally all I've done since I was just here. Must be one of those two. Okay, well, thank God for that. Oh, yes. I was so worried I'd be missing just a... Like a locked door or whatever. Soul of the King! It must have been killing King Vendrick then. Soul of the King. What? Is that like literally a soul? Or is that like a down at the bottom special soul? No, no, no. Soul. Old King. No, soul, soul. soul of the King. It's a big bright one. Oh. Soul of Vendrick. Right, yeah, it must have been killing Vendrick then. I'm glad I fucking decided to come back. Jesus Christ. Soul of Vendrick, King of Drang Lake. This great soul beckoned the dark over... Oh, hang on, right, yeah, but I've been feeling like there's been something missing from the story of Vendrick and Nishandra. Like, like, why did he run down into the crypt and then go hollow and sort of die? Was he running from Nishandra? The thirsty, the, the power thirsty dark thing? Woman? <laughs> or, or like... Was he doomed to die, so he went down there before he went hollow, so he couldn't harm his queen? Let's give it a good old read. This great soul beckoned the dark. His wife, Nishandra. He, he did say that she was a fragment of dark, just like Alsana. Overwhelming the king. So it overwhelmed him. Perhaps this king, who once ruled the world of men, was a lacking vessel for the true throne. Okay, use the soul of he who would link the flame. I, I do believe that to link the flame is the name of the achievement and the ending of the first game if you go with the lighting of the fire by sacrificing yourself. Use the soul of so so Vendrick wanted to do that very thing of he who would link the flame to... Okay, well... Oh, thank God for that. This is exactly the sort of thing I didn't want to miss... Ooh, thanks for re reminding me to come back and check these doors. What have we got here? <laughs> King's crown, arm, ooh, his armor set. Oh my god, please tell me this looks just simply awesome. Okay. Is it down the bottom? Uh, nope. Da, da, da. Can I see a crown anywhere there? King's crown. Oh, oh, hang on. So we've got another... K I've got four kingly crowns. That's that's great. Um, ooh, it gives you three faith. Cool. 
Crown of Ventric, King of Dranglake. What makes a king? Some say that it is birthright, while others call it destiny. Perhaps it is not important, as long as the king's name serves to unite his or her people. Mmm. Everything else got the same description? Um, oh god, what's it look like? Hang on, back in a King, King's armor. Uh, looks looks kind of like Dragonborn uh, Skyrim vibes. Let's put it all on. Let's honor the great man himself that we just put down. Gauntlets, King's leggings, and his crown. Let's go. Let's go back to the memory and speak to him. He must have something to say now. I, you know, I did that fight with the fucking magic ring on, and not as much damage as I could have been doing. Right. Ooh, let's have a quick look here. <laughs> this there's something wrong with my face with this armor set. I t I've got to say, it didn't look as good as this in the menu. This looks really nice. Quite a regal, kingly set. Certainly beefy. Okay. Dude. That's a proper... Th this is Skyrim. Like a Skyrim Jarl vibe with the fur-lined cape. Right, any illusory walls? Because we're done here otherwise. Hmm. Did I ever get a sword from him? Like his sword? Or is that like a drop chance thing? Because I'd love to have his sword on as well. Um, but I don't think we ever got a king sword or anything. Since I've decided to go... Um, faith build in the final game and predominantly strength and faith and heavy weapons. I'm looking forward to seeing the differences with the move sets of like great sword versus ultra great sword. Cuz in the first game I preferred great sword and I didn't like the ultra great sword. Complete flip in this game, I like the ultra great sword and I don't like the regular great sword. In the first game, I don't know, they, the Ultra Great Sword seemed a bit too slow, you know? Okay, we've got music playing. Okay, uh, he's got to say something or give us something. I'm wearing his crown for fuck's sake. He's got to comment on that. Hello? I've done all of the good things. Can you say something? One day, fire will fade, oh. and dark will become a curse. Men will be free from death, left to wander eternally. Dark will again be ours, and in our true shape, we can bury the false legends of yore. Only... Is this our only choice? Seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. Seek strength. Seek strength. Oh! Oh! Crown! I've got, can I put it on his head and do something? That Okay, that's really weird. I'm wearing the crown. <laughs> Dub, double crown action. The rest will follow. Did something happen to the crown? The ashen mist fades. Oh, I... I oh! Can I not go back into that memory anymore? Ooh! Oh! Right, okay, so I've lost access to him. Heat radiates from the ancient crowns. Crowns, plural, I noticed that. Did he just, like, empower all four crowns? I'm, not, I'm physically wearing one of them, still. Let's just quickly throw on, a, like, one of the others. Uh, is, is, has any of my status things changed? There you've got the multi, the green, and the red. The multi, the green, and the red. I've lost the red. Okay, I've lost one of the status things from that crown. Are all of them the same? No, right, that must have been just that crown. This is, seems to be the sort of thing that might have to be googled, but I'm not going to do that. There's... Yeah, something was done to the crowns, but I don't know what. But very, very cool. 
So we can't go to the memory. We, like, officially put him to rest. Cool. Right, I think we're good to end the game. I can't think of anything major that needs doing. Let's head back to Medulla one final time. And just take stock of the situation and make a plan of attack. <laughs> Let's just get all my ducks in a row. And while we're here, see if she's got anything new to say. I've done everything you required of me. Of the curse, I will always be at your side. Until I still don't know who Emerald Herald is, you know. I st maybe she's like a fragment of dark, just like all the other ladies. For when the undead dies, it is never truly dead, but only one step closer to hollowing. Oh, well, there you go. That answers what I said before. But all hollows were once undead. Right, so, yeah, that, that answers what I asked just before. Okay. If you find an est so that Anything new? Nope. Okay. Right, let's... I appreciate the kingly armor, but let's put on my tried and tested beautiful stuff. It's all good and well cosplaying as Raim or King Vendrick. But sometimes you gotta be yourself, you know what I'm saying? You know, I almost forgot we just got the soul of the king. Let's let's go back to Onifex, uh or Stradens. Surely we get his uh, his sword. It must be so. By Onifex, this might be our last encounter, at least in this first playthrough. Anything new for me? No. Okay. Oh, I can see a new sword right there, 10,000. Bosh. Ruler's sword, soul of the king. Ooh, there's two, I've just seen, right. Okay, soul of the king. Keep checking, soul of the king. A third one, there's three items you can get with Vendrick's soul. Let's read them all, I'm intrigued. That looks most like his sword, ruler's sword. Great Sword of Vendrick, King of Drang Lake. The strength of this sword is relative to the number of souls possessed by its wielder. Oh, so it scales with souls. Oh, that seems like an end game so weapon to me then. Okay, one fragment of dark, having taken human shape, became obsessed with the king's soul. That must be Nishandra. <laughs> yeah, this is like the second or third woman who seems to be a fragment of dark Possibly daughter of Manus of the Abyss or whatever, who likes his like sought out power slash a king to latch onto. Strange, strange. One fragment of dark, having taken human shape, became obsessed with the king's soul. Impelled by its own cravings, it sought souls and strove to make the strength of the giants its own. I'm I'm just going to assume it it is Nishandra. So impelled by her own cravings. Nishandra sought souls and strove to make the strength of the giants her own. Vendrick did sail over the seas and bring the giants back or whatever, or take their prize treasure or some shit. I wonder if his wife Nishandra got him to do that? Because she wanted to, like, have the strength of the, the giants, I guess. Now, what's this one? King's Ultra Great Sword. Well, he was using a massive sword, but it looked like the normal sword, that one. This looks like something else. An ultra-great sword forged from the soul of King Vendrick inflicts heavy damage on enemy armor. Oh, right, that must be unique for us. It's... Oh! It's not slash, it's strike. That's unique. Okay. Only the king knows whether the depiction of the queen is a resentful mockery. Or an affectionate exaltation. Is there a carving of Nishandra on the sword? That's interesting. A strike ultra great sword. That must be the only one in the game. Oh, I've got to get that. Well, let's give the shield a quick read. King's shield. Shield of Vendra, King of Dragon. Like one fragment of dark having taken human. Yep, yeah, okay, same, same shit. Well, I've got to. I don't like the regular great sword moveset, so. 
Even if this isn't the one that he was wielding in the uh, in the undead crypt, I still want it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's just have a quick look at that. I don't think I will have what's needed. You need um petrified dragon bones to upgrade these weapons, and I'm out. So I can't upgrade it and use it. Sadly. Oops. But let's put it on. Fucking hell! <laughs> Jesus Christ in heaven! Oh, there we go. That must be... Uh, oh, it's been too long to remember what she looked like in, at the top of Drang Lake Castle. But she kind of looked like that. I remember sort of uh, uh, that sort of top and her hands together. So I think that's quite accurate. But what sort of a sword is that? <laughs> I see why it's strike now, because... That's the, that must be the bluntest sword I ever did see. Let's uh, let's get back to the fire. Interesting. I wonder if it's got a different different move set. I'm guessing not. No, it's the same. Right, so it's just a unique strike sword. Okay. Interesting. But we're gonna stick with our tried and tested shit. And let's commence the end of the game. I'm feeling more and more like it is Nishandra that we're going to confront. Because we've just learned today, in this episode alone, um, that she's like power hungry and so on. And Vendrick ran away and hid and died in the crypt alone. Maybe for a reason? Maybe Nishandra went psycho and just started killing motherfuckers or something? Let's rest. And just take stock of the situation one final time. Uh, weapons are good for a final fight. Rings are just damage and damage and stamina and health and armor's good. Items are good. I've got, I might light my shit on fire. Yeah. Okay. Before I go anywhere, before I go down to the throne of want, I'm going to check the other thrones. The one on the top where she previously was and uh, the one in the middle. And maybe try speaking to that ghost guy again that's in the central hallway. Calm down. You know, as we're nearing the final boss fight or whatever, I've got to say, I've enjoyed this game. Like a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm still shocked people said skip the game. Because a few, you know, there was a... There was more than a single comment uh, in the, during the playthrough of the first game where people were t some people were requesting I skip this game and go straight to three. I'm so glad I didn't. I've enjoyed it thoroughly, personally. It's had its trials and tribulations and pros and cons compared to the first game. But I've enjoyed it as an overall experience, you know what I mean? It's, it's had everything I've wanted from a Dark Souls experience. I'll, uh... I'll save more commentary on that until the end of the game when the credits roll, you understand. But uh, but yeah, that's my thoughts so far. I have enjoyed it thoroughly. Right, nothing here. It's funny that there are multiple thrones, like at different heights of this castle. Have you got anything new to say to me? The King of Giants. How did you slay that behemoth? I hit his foot. Incredible. Now. Oh. Take these. Oh, thank you. See, this is why you come back and you speak to people. Fucking hell. Royal Dirk Llewellyn. Mmm. Okay. Royal Dirk Espada Repair. I'm so Be safe. I'll forget immediately. Uh, Royal Dirk. Okay, that's a dagger. A dagger fashioned from rare guy steel, boasting an unusually long blade. Geisteel was a precious alloy created in the eastern land of Mirror in composition long kept secret from foreign lands. That is until Chancellor Welliger was ordered by King Venture to grant the gifted blacksmith Llewellyn a lifetime contract, whatever the cost, in order to introduce the rare alloy to Drang Lake. Okay. I think King Venture might be the best person we've met in terms of good versus evil. Not counting going and like fucking with the giants on Nishandra's behest. That doesn't count. Espada Roper, a thrusting sword of Chancellor Welliger, forged with rare guy steel. 
a masterpiece of the great blacksmith Llewellyn. Is this a ghost of Llewellyn, or do we just not meet a Llewellyn? Welcome, visitor. Llewellyn is my favourite Welsh name, so by the way. With honor. This is the way of our castle. Tell me, the queen brought peace. Oh, here we go. To this land and to her king. Okay. A peace so deep. It was like falling asleep. Dark. Oh, here we go. Mm. I wonder if Nishan was like spreading the evil and dark, or uh, you know, around the land. Is this? Yeah, he's repeating now. But yeah, Vendrick sounds powerful if he defeated all your four big bosses and some other shit and he wanted to fire the throne like we did in the first game. He's basically like main character status. Interesting. Right, let's get back to the top of Dranglek just to see if she's still not on that throne. Well, this is where she was and I don't remember her saying anything to me. Okay. Right, let's do it once and for all. Are we uh, human? Yeah, we are. Dude. I'd like to take this uh, slow opening door moment to uh, apologize. If you're watching these on YouTube as I upload them, I'd like to just generally She's here. Hello. I'd like to apologize. These these playthroughs take me so long to get through. It's because they need editing for YouTube. You know what I mean? It makes the whole process way longer compared to like live streaming the full thing. But it makes it long and like I get more emotionally invested in it. My journey is already complete. My name is Shanalot. Shanalot. The dragon gave me this name, for I was born with none. I was born of dragons, contrived by men. Born of dragons, contrived by, by men. The ones who would cause him fate herself. They are the ones who created me. But they failed. I did not come out as intended. Fate would not be best, and men were cursed once again. Okay. If you proceed, will come oh shit, there you go, Nishandra. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire. She covets the first flame. Oh. Oh. Oh, just like... Just like the Witch of Isolith. Didn't she covet the first flame and she couldn't get it, so she decided to try and make it? And that's what created the cursed, chaos -y shit? Oh, I'm, I'm nice to meet you. Um, I've already forgotten her name because it was a complicated one. Shall shall I not? Something. Ah, oh, it's wonderful to meet you, and your emo hair. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, oh, is that it? Okay. Well, interesting. I'll, uh, I'll take that in more when I come to ed edit the video, if you see what I mean, which I'll do later today. Um, I missed the first line of dialogue because I was too busy marveling at the fact that we could see her f for the first time. But uh, yeah, so she was created. Best of the dragons. Yeah, interesting. Well, she's told us that it is Nishandra. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Here we go. <sighs> Now, knowing that Nishandra is a is a fragment of dark, was that Nishandra growl, growling in the distance? Knowing that she's a fragment of dark, just like Alsana, and anything else that's dark, like I'm thinking of the dark lurkers and just dark bosses and dark mobs, Manus, father of the abyss. Uh, I'm guessing she's going to be a hideously disfigured, ugly thing. Although saying that the Dark Lurker isn't disfigured, just looks like a kind of an angel. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop and start my recording. 
Oh my god, the 50,000 uh, summon signs are giving me pause. Oh god. Who is it? Bradley of the Old Guard. Ben Hart of Jugo. Ah, he's like central to the story then. Head of Vengar. Dude, you can have a little army. Right, okay. Let's stop and start to make sure we get this recording with no problems. Right, one last check just to make sure everything is tippy toppy perfecty awesome. Armor, good. Check. That's I'm using the fume ultra greats. Uh I'll just try using that. I don't know how difficult this is gonna be, but if we have a death, I'll open with the Ivory King Sword and, and work my way down to the Fume Sword. Items are solid, lots of healing. Uh you know, if she's dark, is there a is there a weakness to dark, if you see what I mean? In the first game, ho um, Divine was generally the opposite of dark. In this game, it's not as clear cut. But, uh... If anything is strong against dark, I would say it's fire. Because, come on, we've had all this fire versus dark shit. So, I might just pop that charcoal thing right off the bat. Jesus, take the wheel. Now, Chandra, I believe, I've come to take your head. Oh my god, she is hideous. Oh! She's like Queen of the Dead with dreadlocks. Grave undead. She, she didn't look like this on top of the castle. You have proven yourself to me. Oh! Oh, she fugly. But she looks awesome. She looks really awesome, actually. Now, fucking hell. One with the dog. Be one with the dark. She is like Queen of the Dark. Seriously, she looks like the Grim Reaper. Oh my god, here we go. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't pop a I can't pop your charcoal goodness. Oh god. Oh fucking what she Oh my god. We got little balls. She got your balls. Do these hurt me if I go close? Ah! Oh fucking hell! <gasps> Um, just just like that, just just insta curse. Shouldn't my health be on half but now? I should have popped a long healing thing. Oh, she is like full blown. Oh, it's no, I see. It's not half health. It's it's lowering my shit up there. Every oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna end this fight on half health. I understand. Well, if you're going to make it easy on me. Dude, this is proper Grim Reaper vibes. I love it. Let's just get down to half health. It's fine. I'll just have to dodge every single attack. That's all. I don't mind being half health. I'm not going to be able to take a single fucking hit, though. I'm guessing you can't go lower than half health, though. Oh, she's on half health as well. Back off, back off. Let's not get fucking hit off the edge, either. Let's be mindful of the edge. Okay. Oh, no, the health does go down as you're being actively cursed. But it can't go lower than, than half. I see. Okay, well, okay, this is a problem. This this is a fucking problem right here. I'm gonna pop... Well, fucking hell, oh my god. I'm gonna pop one of the white things that heals me over time. That. Elizabeth Mushroom! I never thought I'd need to use that. I'm going to pop some life gems. I'm going to pop some life gems, because I, I think I can do this first time. 
I'm gonna pop another mushroom. Oh yes, first time, come on. I can do this, I've got this. Bring it on. Can you do your light thing? Because that makes it much easier to attack you. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I think I've got her. Get fucked! Soul of Nishandra, just like that. Can I, uh... Many monarchs have come and gone. Uh, what the fuck? Fireboy, hang on. One drowned in poison, another was struck into flame. Still the world slumbers in the realm of ice. The fuck? Not one of them stood here. It, that's the Fireboy, where is he? No. Well, I am unique, sir. Conqueror of adversity. Give us your answer. I'll I'll say a resounding yes, but before I do I wanna go human. What the fuck is it? Oh my god, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're human. Can I uh put my original hood back on real quick, real quick, real quick? I just want full health. Oh my god, it's a boss! Oh. Okay, Aldia Scholar of the First Sin. What the fuck? Um, let's pop into the Fuck it out! Okay, hang on, hang on now. Heal. What the fuck, what the fuck, where is he? I'm glad I went human, by the way. Right, let's just start having him, I guess. Look at his ugly face. Um, should I put my fire ring on? That's not fire, it's blood, I'm a fucking idiot. There, fire. My god, why is he suddenly hating me? I, th I thought we were friends, you fuck. Oh god. With his little tendrils. Oh my. Fucking hell. I, I would want to try and save. Fucking hell. Sorry, I'm, I'm all over the place. Let's get close to him. No, 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 let's not. Right, okay, dodge left, dodge right, I see. Okay. Um, I mean, what's the magic like against him? Because I can't really get close. When he has his fire aura on. Oh, God. You missed, you fuck. Uh, uh, it's not great, but let's just get some magic damage on him. Where is he? Why is he suddenly pissed off? Was he waiting for somebody to conquer Nishandra for him, like a lazy bastard, just so he could swoop in and take power or something? You lazy fuck. Couldn't do it, weren't strong enough to kill Nishandra yourself, eh? What's he doing? Oh my god. Okay, I mean, let's just... Oh god, right. Okay, left, right, left, right, left, right. I've got this. Full stamina, full stamina, full stamina. Okay. Maybe when he does that, I should go ham with my sword, because he doesn't have the fire aura, you see. I will. Okay. Oh god. Uh... Right, send your fireball at me, sir. Right. Can you teleport, please? What's the fire damage like? Oh, it's not much. Um, full stamina, full stamina, and I'm gonna pop a divine heal. I think I've got this entire fight first time. I feel good about it. His fire damage isn't much when I've got the ring on. Oh shit, Ra. Ooh, he's got an all over one. Okay. I just need to do as much damage as possible when he does this teleporting shit. Go, 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 go. 
Does he have a face? Is that a no one nose and one eye? Am I seeing that correctly? Hang on, hang on now. Ooh, he nearly fucked me. That's good. It's fine. Take it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Get fucked. And again. And one more, and then get stamina back. I've fucking got this! Are you gonna explode with fire? Watch out. Calm down now. Oh, has he got more fire damage? Oh, I bet he has. I bet I can't get as many hits in now. Fuck! Oh, right, no. It must have been like a fire nova. <sighs> Fucking hell. Okay, yeah. Okay, when he's got big fire. Okay, big f Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. <sighs> big fire. I, uh, I can't attack him. Back off, back off real quick, and I'm gonna pop a divine. And I'm gonna pop a strength. And a stamina. I'm taking this shit seriously, ladies and gentlemen. Right, hang on, big old fire god blast, watch out. Teleport, please, and you're fucking dead, sir. Oh, he's fucked. He's fucking dead. You're fucking dead, my friend! Yes! I can't even imagine doing all this with the two throne uh, bosses at the start as well. I will remain here patiently. Is he still alive? The throne will certainly receive you. Oh. Where is he? What do you want? Tell me. Light, dark, or something else entirely? Oh, door. I'm still not entirely certain. Like, in the first game, I know there was a choice. Oh, hello. In the first game, we had a choice. You could sacrifice yourself basically to keep the fire of the world going. Or you could walk out the boss arena, I believe, and just choose the dark. You could choose fire or dark, you know? Have we got another choice here? Because I've got two golden shiny things. Um, maybe he wasn't evil then. He sounded then like he was kind of just testing us. Like he was a test to make sure we were worthy of this decision sort of a thing, so, uh... Okay, I mean, prompt? Pro oh, hang on. Proceed to throne? We must have a choice. Okay. Leave the throne. Right, I'm getting strong hints that go to the throne is your fire ending. Or the equivalent, and leave is the same as the first game. Just leave and dark. So dark of fire. That's what my simple ape brain is making of this choice. Um, uh, I, I know that there are lots of debates in the Dark Souls community about which is good or evil, or the good endings or the bad endings, and there is none. It's kind of open to interpretation. At the end of the first game, I went fire. Now, in this game, let's let's analyze it. <laughs> in this game, I have definitely felt more on the side of fire. I've been saying that this whole time. However, we're lighting the fires. We've had a torch. We're lighting everything. Light and fire has been good in Dark Souls 2. Even more so than the first game, I feel like. I've been on the side of fire. I've been friendly with the fire boy. And uh, despite, despite the fact he suddenly attacked me out of nowhere, I, I get the feeling he was just testing us and uh, he went back to being friendly again. I'm feeling like throne and fire is the thing to do. Keep the... keep the. Sh hey, I like to think of it in my own way, like we're keeping Dark Souls going. 
the universe of Dark Souls. We're keeping the fire going and that will lead inevitably to Dark Souls 4. <laughs> fire all day long. I, sh I mean, I'm, I'm talking, I might be talking absolute shit. But that's what I make from this little choice here. This is Oh, I was going to say this is creepy. With the headless fucking things, but now they're moving. Oh, are they going to form a little bridge so I can walk across to the th to the real throne? Yes, they are cool. They didn't have any souls in their chest. Link the fire. You who bear the curse. Once the fire is linked, souls will flourish anew, and all of this will play out again. New Game Plus. Understood. It is your choice to embrace or renounce this. Oh, do I still have a choice? Oh, I, I, I'm on the side of the fire, so... Even if I gotta sacrifice myself... Is this like the true original throne? It's a very sort of dwarven, st uh, like throne under the mountain sort of vibes that I'm that I'm getting from this. Great sovereign, take your throne. I look so awesome. Oh fuck yeah! Oh fuck yeah! I couldn't look more like by that. Only you can see. Let's ignore the clipping of the skirt through the chair. I look so awesome! My armor! I got so lucky to get all of this armor. And I, I'm so glad I did. Some Something as simple as looking good can even, like, make or break a game for me. You know? Because if I was wearing just shitty scrub armor... It wouldn't have as much of an impact, you know, sitting down awesomely on the throne. There we go. Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. I'm intrigued to see the differences between the original and this version, by the way. I know it's mostly like, uh, enemy placement and so on, but still. Okay, wow, Jesus Christ. What an experience. I loved it. I mean... You know, I can see... I can see a lot of the issues that people had... ...with the game. That there are some downsides compared to the first game, and I assume the third game. Some some new systems, like your health ever diminishing when you die, etc. I can see why a lot of people don't like that sort of thing. But to me, that is very much like... I want to say surface like game experience and doesn't really reflect or impact my larger full feeling when I'm playing this game. Does that make sense at all? Like it added more challenge certainly and I can see why it upsets some people. And many other things as well, enemy placement and density and runbacks in the runbacks in this game seem way harder than the first game. Um so there are things like that, but once all is said and done... I thought that said Liquid Blitz then, Liquid Violet. Yeah, once all is said and done, and I've defeated all the bosses and we've done all the runbacks... ...etc. I, I feel positive. I feel like I've overcome a great challenge, so... I guess it's, it's just a personal opinion thing. For me, I enjoyed this game despite the added difficulties over the first game, the new systems and, and problems, etc. I really enjoyed it. I don't know if I enjoyed the first game more or less than the second one. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm struggling to differentiate between the two. I just enjoyed both of them. I, I hope, I, forgive me if that's like a cop-out for choosing, you know, I don't know if I'm supposed to. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Okay, something's... okay. Credits went apeshit for a second, though. But yeah, I, I don't know if it's... 
I don't know, blasphemous to not have an opinion or a favorite, but uh, I enjoy, I've, I've been saying this for the longest time. I find it quite easy to find things to enjoy in games. So I enjoy the vast majority of games I play because I don't know if it's an age thing or a maturity or, or uh, I don't know what it is, but um, is my game like shitting the bed here? <laughs> The, the credits are having a go at me. Hang on. That's that's giving me a complex. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I, I, point is, uh, I, I've always found it quite easy to focus on the things I enjoy in a game and kind of ignore or overlook the parts that I'm not enjoying as much. I'm struggling to think about anything in this game, in Dark Souls 2, that I didn't enjoy. Like, things, things like the long, difficult runbacks were a little bit of a pain, but the whole enemies despawn permanently after 12 kills thing is like a, is like a, a backup. It's a cop-out if you're struggling too much, because eventually they're all dead and it's a free runback. So even in those moments, there is a, there is a safety net of enjoyment, if that makes sense. So I don't know. I can't think of a single thing that I actively disliked in this game. It was longer than the first game, with all the optional bosses and side stuff. Um, some of the story was still a bit indirect and hard to find. You had to read a lot of descriptions, just like the first game. But that's just, that you know, that's just part and parcel of what Dark Souls is and how it's presented to you. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this game. Um, I just honestly see it as an extension of the first game. And I, I've got to say, a big part of me enjoying this game is, is recognizing when a developer takes chances. Like, Dark Souls 1, I wasn't around in the, the days when these games were being released, but I imagine Dark Souls 1 was considered a success and a great game when it was released. So, to take a successful formula and then change quite a lot of aspects in, like, making Dark Souls 2, there's a lot of differences. I respect a developer that does that, because they, they didn't need to change the formula. They could have just made Dark Souls 2.0, do you know what I mean? They could have just done the first game again, but just with different bosses and a different level design. But instead, they decided to change a bunch of stuff and try a bunch of new stuff, and I have always appreciated that. Yeah, I appreciate a developer that is willing to try new stuff, even if they don't have to. It's like they're going out their way to uh, innovate. I mean, that's that's the word right there. It, innovate and keep trying new stuff, and yeah. That's exactly the problem with modern gaming, is that they, so many of the AAA developers don't innovate and try new stuff. When you've got a Call of Duty that makes hundreds of millions of dollars, what what do you get? You get the same game re released every year or every couple of years or some shit. So, kudos to From Software for trying new shit and innovating. Even if a lot of people didn't like the changes. You know, I'm sure they went on to Dark Souls 3, which we, we will be starting very, very soon. Um... By which I mean, I want to record the first episode in a couple of days' time, so I'm going to be getting stuck straight into Dark Souls 3. But uh, I assume a lot of the negatively received things of Dark Souls 2, oh, it's flashing again, uh, were improved or, or like scaled back or just changed for Dark Souls 3. Because um, I've heard that Dark Souls 3 is awesome. So I'm guessing it's not going to have as aggravating and like shitty runbacks as the second game. I'm guessing the way curse works and um, your ever diminishing health, I'm guessing that's just gone in the third game. Yeah. I'm sure there's a bunch of mis uh, stuff I've failed to mention, but uh, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to let the um, credits play out. This is a long list of uh, credits, but we're going to let it play out and then uh, end the video.
There we go. That was a mighty long list of credits, and we're here, I assume it's just auto New Game Plus. Emerald Herald, are you here still? She is back again! She's <laughs> she's put a hood back up. Bearer of the cur until It's good to see you again. To drink, it happens. Okay. So just right, okay. Foreshadowing of your own. Uh oh, you know what? Just one last last thing. How many deaths did we end up with at the end of all things? Please don't be an embarrassing number. Keep in mind, I did all the DLCs, all, I think, all the optional content. I went everywhere and did everything, basically. So this might be a larger number of deaths than than is normal or good. 320. Let me know in the comments how good that is uh, for a final death count. <laughs> I don't, I've, no, I've no reference, but I like to think that's not too bad, considering I did everything. But let's end one final time by looking- Oh! <laughs> that wall has always stopped me walking over in the in the past. Why did I suddenly walk off to my fucking death? What a shitty send-off for the final ending of the last video. Well, I'm- No, that's not- that, 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 that. Ain't no fucking way I'm ending. Hollow. Go fuck yourself. Jesus Christ. Right, okay, let's let's just pretend that didn't fucking happen. Oh my god, is that 321? <laughs> Fuck off, that didn't count. <coughs> that did not count. Okay? Because we're in a new game cycle. That was 320 for the original playthrough. Jesus Christ. Okay. <sighs> Well, thanks for joining me for this playthrough. One final time, I'll say I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm so glad I didn't skip it. Uh, even if I hadn't have enjoyed it, and I agreed that it was like the worst of the games, etc., etc., I would still be glad that I played through it personally because I, I want to experience the feeling of of if it's good or bad, etc., for myself. Do you know what I mean? I want to be on the bandwagon of of knowing everything about these games by personally playing through them. So I'm really glad I played it. I really enjoyed it pretty much on par with the first game. Um, yeah, and I'm looking so much towards, towards, <laughs> in like two days, I'm looking forward to playing Dark Souls 3. It's, people seem to be divided on which their favorite is, Dark Souls 1 or 3, but I've heard that 3 is very, very good, so I'm looking forward to getting going. Oh, what a final, what a final visual, ladies and gentlemen. Me looking victorious into the sunset. <sighs> like this video if you liked it. Like this video if you didn't like it. And subscribe for similar content. All my social media links are in the description. And I have a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support my content and my playing of these games, etc. It's... It's because of people on Patreon, they um, they bought Dark Souls 3 for me recently. So that's the sort of thing that the Patreon goes towards. So yeah, thanks for watching this playthrough and I'll catch you in the next one. Liquid Blitz.